Hi, my name is Mila. Ever since I was little, I've always liked braces. I thought they looked really cute on people and I really wanted to have them myself as well. But as you can see, I have pretty straight teeth of my own. So my parents never allowed me to have them, which was a little bit sad. So when I was little, I had to improvise. And sometimes I would take like little elastics and I would tie them across my teeth just to make it look like I had braces. It was kind of just playing pretend. I did that for a little bit, but eventually I grew out of that phase and I kind of forgot about the whole braces thing. I mean, it was still in the back of my mind. Whenever I saw someone with braces, I always thought they looked really cute. Like, I don't know, it just gives you something extra, you know? It's just a different way to accessorize yourself. So right now, a few years later down the line, I was thinking to myself like, Mila, why not just get yourself some braces? So I looked it up on the internet with not much hope of finding anything because I was like, would fake braces really exist? I mean, am I maybe not the only person in the world that likes the look of braces? So I searched it up on Google and I suddenly came across this website called Braces for Fun. I was amazed that something like that even existed. I looked around, they have a whole range and a whole variety of different kinds of braces. So I decided to order my own braces and actually they already came in so I would really like to show you guys. They look like this, they come in a little box like this, it says braces for fun, it's a retainer. So if you open it, you can see, ta-da, they fit perfectly, I already tried them on. You just click them into your mouth like this. The only down part is that it creates a little bit of a lisp when you're speaking but that is just because I'm not used to have anything in my mouth so of course it's gonna create a lisp because it's a little bit uncomfortable if you suddenly have something there that is usually not there. After you wear these braces for a little bit longer and you get used to speaking with them it should become easier. I think the lisp is totally worth it because I look really cute in my opinion and that is all that matters so yeah with these braces i also ordered some headgear i will go and try it on now and show you guys let's go this is what came in i will show you guys how to put this on right now always when you remove your braces you have to take them out on this thing so you take them out like that and you can see that there is like little holes on the sides that is where you put these ones inside so when you attach those two together you can put them back into your mouth again uh-huh maybe it looks a bit silly but i think it looks nice and especially if you're going to play dress up as a nerd or something like that for a party i think it's a really good idea this is the headgear which I am gonna place on and you can connect them like this. So this is what it looks like with the headgear on. Um, In my opinion it looks a little bit silly that my hair is really flat on the top. It kind of looks not flattering. So I want to try out a different hairstyle. Um, see me in a minute. Ta-da! I think that with this kind of braces with the headgear, this hairstyle looks the best. Either ponytails or buns. But yeah, this is my favorite. So that was it for these braces. For the next video, I've ordered a different set of braces. The traditional ones with the blocks on your feet. So if you guys want to see me with those braces on, be sure to keep posted. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, what kind of braces do you want to see me with? What do you want me to do while wearing the braces? Anything is possible, maybe not anything, but leave it down in the comments below and I'll think about it. See you next time. Bye bye.